Hey guys, Zach with Blade HQ. We're sitting here at the Hogue booth, and I'm sitting down with Neil, and he's gonna run us through what Hogue's got going. Great, yeah, thanks. thanks for having us, man. Yeah, thanks for being here, Zach. Yeah, we appreciate it. So, um, we got some different knife models coming out in the Hogue Knives line. Uh, the entire line of our knife line is 100% US made, US materials, lifetime warranty, lifetime sharpening service. So you get a lot of value with our knife That's line. a lot of value. So there's some, we've been asked for some smaller models coming out for some time. A lot of our knives are bigger. So this is our new micro flip. This has a flipper tab mechanism and a button lock for closing it. Real easy manual one handed operation. You got a safety in the open position on the manual knife, so it locks the button in place. Great. So you don't ever have to worry about that. The flipper tab works really well for a good hand stop too. Your hand's never going to ride up over that blade. Uh, you got the stainless steel glass breaker or pommel on the rear. You got a reversible clip, right hand or left hand carry. Retail price point of one forty nine ninety five. Awesome. Right on. And these these are available now. Right? That's correct. Yeah. Yep. Yep. These are shipping now. And these are available. And these are just some of the styles and colors. There's there's other ones available as well. Great. So then we've moved up into this guy here. Uh, this is our automatic version, our micro switch. So we got the X one micro flip, and then the X one micro switch is the automatic versions. Two and three quarter inch blade length. These are all hollow ground blades as well. So you get that very fine keen cutting edge. Yeah. All the edges are also hand sharpened and honed directly from the factory. Awesome. So you're not really going to find that in any other, you know, larger manufacturers of knives. For sure. We're using the CPM 154 blade steel. So you got your premium blade steel there. Uh, nice, I believe it's a, a 125 thousandths thick blade. So real nice and stout. Yeah. And for the California market or any other places where under two inch blade is legal, here's our under two inch blade Warncliffe variation of that same knife. Um, I find these knives very comfortable to wear in the little coin pocket in your jeans that we never have anything to put in them. Right. <laughs> uh, so I, I almost always have two knives on me, so I'll have this one in my coin pocket and then I'll, I'll have another knife on me as well. Yeah, this one actually came out of your pocket, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. totally. Uh, and this, is, this one, uh, we've seen a couple designs similar to this, but I really like that California legal blade with a little bit more purchase there. Yeah, we kept really the great. full size frame. Yeah. We, uh, we're also working on, we did some prototyping, put a bottle opener on the back end of it to cool. utilize that extra frame space. <laughs> I just, I'm a sucker for bottle <laughs> openers, man. I love it. Cool, cool. <laughs> All right, and then we've also got some fixed blades new for this year as yeah, well. Yeah, we sure do. So we've had a uh, FO2 fixed blade for some time with an injection molded polymer frame on it. Right. And we've added G10 into the line. So instead of the injection molded, we've got the G10 frames, various different styles and colors. Now the way this sheath works, this is an automatic retention sheath that locks in place. It's got a rocker lever that slides with your thumb. You can kind of see the sliding motion here. Yeah. Or with your finger, and it's ambidextrous as well. So you can hear it lock in there, very positive retention, yet you can release it pretty quickly. That's great. I know this is something that I do very often with uh, fixed blades when it's not ambidextrous is I almost every time put it in backwards. Yep, yep. So I love to see that. And I don't know if you guys can see it there, but it's got this uh, piece right here kind of milled out, and that allows it to drop in to the button right there in the sheath. So really neat design on that. I like Thank that you. a lot. Thank you. And now uh, with changing up that handle price-wise, what's what's the jump look like from one to the other? The jump only added, I believe, $25 on the retail side. Oh, that's not too bad to, get, to get G10 on there. Yeah. Wonderful. So this is being very well received. Now on the entire line of FO2 knives, we've added uh, a molly adapted part on the back of our sheath. So this works really well for if uh, you're an operator or whatever, and use molly mount on your vest, you can kind of mount it on your vest up this way right. and be able to deploy the knife and have a good comfortable spot to click it back in. And you know that's retained really solid. That's not gonna come off. Awesome, I, I, yeah, that, sh that sheet design is just really awesome. Uh, the snaps on the back only pull apart from the end. It's a one-way snap. Okay. So when you're wearing this belt, you don't have to worry about it falling off. So cool. great, uh, this one retails See, this one is a retail price point of one fifty nine ninety five. Right ballpark, right around there. Yeah, cool. our uh, polymer frame versions start at uh, one twenty nine ninety five. One twenty nine. Yeah, yeah. So these yeah, have yeah. a full steel tang as well. Awesome. That's so that's that's not a bad jump at all for what you're getting. That's wonderful. Yep. So we've also been requested. We're uh, all the owners are scuba divers. And oh, okay. I've been scuba diving since I was nine. Okay. Um, so, so the ocean scares me, man. I'm from the desert, so it's like yeah. I'm always worried someone's going to eat me. So I'm, gl I'm glad that somebody's out there doing it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I started getting into water sports and stuff like that. So these are kind of the mechanisms, a little dive knife inspired. Um, so we've also added this version that has a 410 stainless steel blade. 
This one's the Tanto with the Cerakote on it. We also have a tumbled finish. Uh, so much more rust per, uh, preventative, rust corrosion preventative. Then we have the neoprene leg mount, which this comes with four different straps. So you can oh, mount yeah. to your upper leg or your lower leg. Works really great for kayaking, scuba diving, any kind of water sport stuff. Cool. Yeah, and then, and then with that same release system. Yeah, that's just really awesome. And diving with it, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you've been out. Mm -hmm. you, I'm sure you prototyped it all, you know, had a lot of fun with it. Uh, underwater, gloved, everything, it feels great. Huh? Works great. Yeah, wonderful. Yep, no problem. Cool. Um, so that's what we have for kind of the Hoag side of things. That's correct. And, and you guys got some other stuff going though as well, right? We got some really great opportunities to work with some top tier firearm manufacturers out there and be able to use some branded knives, uh, be able to produce some branded knives for them. So Sig Sauer, we've been a top tier material, top tier material supplier for them for grips for lots of time. I right. want to grab yeah. that firearm over there. So for over a decade, we've been making Sig Sauer's pistol grips. G10, aluminum, wood, and uh, their rubber lines. So we're able to use the same exact materials on our knife models. Cool. So we're really taking the Hogue knife models and giving you the same textures, the same materials on the steel, on the blade steels, and even you can see on the clips and on the emblem, we're using the same exact vendors that SIG uses on their slides and their frames, so we can get as close to as matching set as humanly possible. Right, yeah, yeah. I mean, even even within the SIG line, color variates just a little yeah. bit, but it is the same color. Exactly. That is really neat. So this is your Emperor Scorpion variation right here uh, in the automatic AL1 Tanto version. So you can see really positive operation yeah. uh, on all of our automatics. When you push the button in, You'll notice that all the blades return very positive against the spring. You won't find hardly any play in here at all, and yet it returns solidly against there. That's awesome. And then deep carry pocket clip on that as well, right? That's correct. This comes with a deep pocket carry clip. You can also retrofit it and put our original spoon clip back on it if you choose oh, okay. to. Okay. Cool. You got to tip up, tip down carry. Right. Yeah. Whatever your preference may be. That's right. And these are only a, a ten dollar premium compared to a Hogue knife of the similar design. Cool. So you're getting so you your get Hogue something brand. that can match your firearm yeah. and, and a great USA made thing for just a little bit more. Exactly. Awesome. So moving on to one of our other flavors here. This is the Sig ASE line. So again, you got the matching wood and uh, you know, a very similar looking knife to there. Yeah. Uh, now we have a full line of automatic knives, manual knives, and fixed blade knives. We've got the exclusive manufacturing rights for using the Sig Sauer branded um, logo on an automatic knife. Oh, so okay. you won't see these coming out of anybody else so out there on these, the autos. So these autos, with this matching, Hogue's the place to go. That's right. Get on bladehq.com and find Hogue. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. Yeah, and I, I don't I think that you guys can probably see this just fine, but right down to the smoothness here and the textured here, I mean it's it's just a direct match. They're coming out of the same factory. That's it's all the same workers, awesome. it's yeah. all you know, same emblem, same everything. Exactly. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Then we've also got what we're calling our tactical series line. SIG makes these Legion pistols, and this is my kind of an exclusive club with SIG, so we're not really able to make Legion branded products and sell them separately. For sure. So we came out with a tactical line that's very Legion-ish. Yeah. It's got same they, material, same they, finishes they can and everything. match your Legion. Exactly. And you know, again, up to the point where we're actually sending these all the way to the same facility that's doing the slides wow. and the frames for SIG. So this is one of our fixed blade F01 versions. Comes with this sheath right here. Yeah, the attention to detail on these is just just awesome, just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So in addition to that, we also got the exclusive manufacturing rights for HK branded yeah. knives. So we're really teamed up with some uh, very high-end firearm yeah, companies some in the really industry. Some really great companies to work at, sounds yeah. like. And Hogue being a firearm accessory based company to start with, you know, it just plays in really well with what we're doing. Yeah, where you already have these relationships. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So if I'm grab that pistol over there, you oh, can yeah. see what we did, it took a lot of work to get this done too, is we're able to get the G10 texture to match this, the HK pistol exactly. So that took some engineering and some new tooling and stuff like that. Now, to am make I that right happen. that you had you had a pretty direct hand in figuring out the tooling? For correct. This, correct. Correct. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can only imagine the process. <laughs> got a little resistance and took a little while, yeah, but, uh, but got it, there. It, it came out very, very good at the end. Awesome. So uh, this is a, a G10 frame version. This is the HK exemplar model. This is our first pivot lock mechanism. So okay. this is a fully ambidextrous knife. You can see you've got a four-position clip 
tip up, tip down, right, left carry, and the mechanism is fully ambidextrous. So you can use it with one thumb, one finger, you can open the knife with it, you can close the knife with it. You can also use the thumb studs for opening up the knife. So this line is really geared around the law enforcement market, first responder and military type users. Uh, and uh, it gets down at a little bit lower price point than some of our other lines as oh, well. Okay. So we want to really help support our uh, you know, servicemen and women out there in the country and give them a good option. That Blade HQ, we really love when we see companies doing that. That's just great. And I, one thing that I really love about this is that it's 100% ambi, which yes. is just great when you're using these slide locks. Exactly. Um, when HK was, HK's, you know, they've, they've made different knives different places, mm -hmm. and uh, the, there was one that had the same slide lock, was HK, and it is my hands down favorite awesome. knife. Awesome. So it's, it's great to see this, and it's great to see it being an ambi carry. So this particular one in G10 retails at 149.95. Great. And once we put uh, the internals and everything, were designed to do a polymer frame version of this. Okay. And that's going to drop it down to about hopefully 114.95. So okay. they'll be priced under $100 on Blade HQ. Yeah. Very regularly. Once we get to a smaller size of this, then we'll have that 99.95 retail knife. Great. So uh, again, trying to get down there. We have other variations that are black blade with partially serrated blades. You'll see the serrations end up in this line. Okay. We really don't have any serrated knives in any of our other lines regularly. For sure. So this will be the line where we'll find that serration. Correct, correct. Right. And then you might have mentioned it, I might have missed it. What's the blade steel on that? Blade steel is 154 CM. 154 CM. Correct. Great. So this is also, this is more of a first responder edition knife. It's still got that HK texture. We've got the uh, safety orange on here. And what we did is here, we really created more of a tool. Right. So this has a seatbelt cutter. You've got the glass breaker on the back. Oxygen bottle wrench for your first responders. I like the placement on that as well. It gives you that, that broad kind of T handle to it. That's right, and it's out of the way. It doesn't hurt anything else from the function of the exactly. knife. And we've got a four position clip. So again, right, left, tip up, tip down, carry. And this is a flipper tab model. So flipper deployment, and that flipper tab again makes a really good hand stop, so you don't have to worry about your hand riding up over the blade. Partially serrated blade. Uh, all the finishes are Cerakote that we do. Awesome. Yeah, I know that's something that uh, we've seen a lot of comments coming from SHOT Show. A lot more people wanting these Ambi options, yep. and it sounds like folks got what they're looking for. We're trying, we're <laughs> <Love> trying. <laughs> so here's our new out the front. This is the HK Hadron. You can see uh, real easy deployment there. Yeah, Again, the action every... on this is real. I was, well, we were waiting and kind of chit chat and I was out there playing with one and I love the action on this Great. thing. <laughs> uh, compared to our other, uh, our Hogue out the front, this is a, a smaller thin down case. We re-engineered the internals to be able to thin that down. It's a slightly shorter. Uh, so this carries in your pocket very, very nice. Yeah. And uh, again, you got the pocket clip can mount on the left side or the right side for carry. A nice deep carry as well. Yep. Cool. So just put it in the pocket, forget about it. That's right. Right on. Well, great. There's a lot of really neat offerings that you guys have coming out uh, with your collaborations and with just your main line as well. So it's wonderful to see it. We've been very, very busy. Yeah. So <laughs> I hope everybody likes it. That's a great thing. That's a great thing. And then the fact that it's all here in the U.S. is, is also really, really great. Yeah. And I believe Blade, Blade HQ will have all the variations available. Yep. So that's the plan. So that's wonderful. One stop shop. Yeah. There we go. Um, one thing we've been asking everybody here at SHOT Show is, and we got the answer a little bit because you had you had the, the California carry there in your pocket. Mm -hmm. What do you got in your pocket? Uh, so I usually have two knives, this being one of them. Um, California Legal Auto, and again, on the autos, the button locks and the safety locks in the open or the closed position on these. And then I've got my X5. I've just really fallen in love with the X5 mechanism. It's a button lock flipper done correctly. So real easy deployment and then closing it is one handed operation. You can close it slow like that or once you get used to it, you can just kind of flick it just closed flick it too. In. Cool. So that Warncliffe blade design, I've gotten really used to some of the functionality on that modified Warncliffe. Right on. I, yeah, I like it. This one's actually been really hard to keep in my pocket. Okay. This is actually probably the fourth one I've had. It keeps on getting, you know, <laughs> sold out of my pocket or family right. members takes it and I don't, right. I just oh, don't I see really it like again. It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks so much for having us. Thank you very much, Zach. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Well, that's all we have from Hogue guys today. Uh, a lot of really great offerings, so keep your eye out there for it. Uh, but that's not all that Blade HQ has for you. Make sure to check out our 2018 SHOT Show playlist here on YouTube, and uh, we'll be seeing you soon. Thanks, guys.